to our YouTube channel. <laughs> I wanna hold him. He uh, likes me better. <laughs> okay. Welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> this is our first video today. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst at holding him. <laughs> you there? Should I drink my coffee? <laughs> <laughs> You're the pits, we're not using this one. Mm -hmm. No! What's wrong with that? No, we already did the one before. No, I'm not, I'm not taking that one. Yes, we are. No. Why not? Because this is our first YouTube video for our channel. Yes. Um, and we're going to go through all of the um, questions from our Instagram post. Well, not all of them, but we've picked like the most common questions and we're going to answer those for you. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Are you ready? Mmm, feels good to the shape, dude. Yeah, it looks good too. Um, where are we from? Well, I'm from Sydney. I was born in Penrith. Australia. Australia. Um, yeah, moved up to the Gold Coast and I was about four years old. Pretty much been here ever since. And I'm from Coogeon. For you foreigners. Near it's, Byron it's Bay. It's about 20 minutes north of Byron Bay. Yeah. So, but now actually we both live in Kujan now, so. We actually lived on the same street when we were like maybe 10 years old. Yeah, we lived on the same street for like a year and we never actually met. And then what, we actually knew, I knew your brothers. Yeah. And then we didn't actually meet until we were like ooh, 16. Until we were yeah. 16. That's another question, we'll talk about that after. What do we do for a living? I am an online coach and I design people's personalised meal plans, training plans. That's a bit about me. I'm a retired uh, rugby league player. So I played professionally for six years um, at the Gold Coast Titans and then I was in Manly, Manly Seagulls. But yeah, finished up when I was, I retired when I was 24 and yeah, then I started bodybuilding. I've done a bodybuilding competition, um, IFBB physique and um, yeah, that was one hell of an experience and um, yeah that's what I do and me I'm a swimwear designer so I've been designing swimwear since I was like 16 I started making my own bikinis and clothing I started with clothing so ever since um, I finished high school I did a design course um, and ever since then I've had my label James swimwear j-a-y-m-e-s it's my nickname James so yeah, that's it. How did we meet? How did we meet? We met at a party when we were 16 years old. I, it, was, it was about 2 a.m. in the morning. I was blind drunk and it was pouring rain. I was looking for a place to sleep and I stumbled across this tent. It was at a house party and I just snuck in <laughs> and then there was a girl sleeping in there and me and my mate were just like, oh, what? <laughs> so we were just like real quiet and then, yeah, little Jamie woke up and was just like, who's that? And then, yeah, we started, uh, we didn't actually talk. We didn't even yeah. talk. I so like, I heard she had a boyfriend and I probably couldn't talk because I was so drunk. And then... Um, Kate knew of me. I knew of Jamie because we had friends of friends and... I always thought she was a little hottie, but... And then, when we were 20, um, Kane sent me a message on Facebook, because... Just slid right into her DMs there. <laughs> message. Message. <laughs> and I'd just become single, like, uh, three months I'd broken up with my boyfriend. A coincidence. He's definitely, he definitely had me on his radar. And he wrote me a message and he was like, hey, How's the um, modeling business going? And I was like, what the hell? Who is this I guy? Actually, I actually got my mate to write the message. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, there's this chick that, you know, she's pretty hot, so I want to, you know, I want to, I want to sort of like organize a date with her or something. And then he's like, oh, write it. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the best at writing these messages. Starts writing it and he ended up getting the message wrong. And she actually owned a bikini label. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's a good modeling business you got going. I don't even know what it is. So. I only accepted his friend request because the guy in his photo, in his profile <coughs> picture, was one of my brother's friends. So I was like, 
how did I know this guy? I, I didn't know Kane, but I knew the guy in his photo, so I just accepted and I was like, oh, he must be a nice guy because that other guy's nice. Is that Luke? Yeah. Yeah, Luke, Lukey. <laughs> Lukey. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're yeah, still best you, mates now. Yeah, if you see me, he's the uh, Aboriginal guy in my, all my photos and stories. Anyways, he sent me a message and we were um, writing each other messages for like, it felt like months. We were playing so hard to get, like we would wait hours, days, weeks to write back to each other because Kane was so used to all of the girls chasing him and I was like, nah, you know what, like I was kind of used to the guys coming after me so we were both like, oh, what is going on? Like we weren't, you know. Yeah, it was like a week, week it. between messages and I remember just being like, nah, that's it. I'm not writing back. It's been a week. She still hasn't responded. And then out of the blue, Sunday night, I'll get this message come through. I was drunk. Yeah, she was drunk. And then I was like, oh, that's good enough for me. Wrote back. And then... Well, I said, I wrote, so when are you going to take me out to lunch? <laughs> and then he wrote back in the morning and he's like, oh, I'd love to take that you was out to lunch. A, that was a month of back and forward. Yeah. Yeah. Super. Playing hard. Playing hard to get. You gotta play that game. That's yes. Right. It's a rough game. You gotta. Hey, we were like, ah. <laughs> and then when we finally met, um, we went on our. Actually, no, no, no. Sorry, I was um, working at a store in Coolangatta, and I knew that Kane was at Cooley all the time, surfing and um, riding his skateboard around. So I went for a swim um, at the beach, and I kind of had a hunch that he was there. And then um, I see to stalk me. I seen him over near the showers, and I'm like, oh, I've got to go have a shower. So I walked past, pretending I didn't see him. <laughs> and then he's like, Jamie, Jamie, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> and then we like were talking, and I remember being in my bikini, and I was so shame, like I had my bag like up around my chest because I didn't want to show my body. He was like the dreamy. He still is the dreamiest was. guy. <laughs> I'm all washed up. No, he, um, he like has these beautiful green eyes and it made me so nervous when I was talking to him. I was like, oh my God. I didn't even know what he was saying. I was just so nervous. I didn't know what I was saying. And he's saying. so like big and muscly and he was standing on a <laughs> rock as well. So he was just like cowering over me and I was just like, I just couldn't handle it. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just trying to be cool and stuff. And then um, I like left out of there. Um, and then, yeah, that was when we G'd up the, the date. Um, yeah, the first date. The first date. That was, that was a, that was a hard one, that sushi we went to. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think we were there for two hours and ate one piece of sushi because we both, you know, sushi's that food, hot tip for anyone out there that's going on a first date, don't take your, your, um. Date? Date. I was going to say partner, but it's not your partner. <laughs> Don't take your date to sushi. Because like, it's that food that it's too big to fit all in a, your mouth at once. But then if you take a bite, it all breaks apart and the seaweed's still connected. And the rice has fallen out and the sauce goes over. Yeah. It's messy. messy. So yeah, well, every time we took a bite, we'd be like just wiping our face and trying to... Yeah. It was just weird. But yeah. that was the next question was, oh. how long have we been together? We've actually seven been together years. seven years, six months, and one day. <laughs> what is it? it is the 29th. Yeah. Two days. Yeah. Yeah, Kane is like super on top. <laughs> Every month we're like... A bit like, of a perfectionist. Ah, it's, it's seven years and six months. That's what Jamie does. You I do it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jamie counts the months, I count the years. <laughs> It's crazy how long we've been together. Um, it is a long time. That's like a, that's a, like a quarter of my life. Yeah. This is why I like these questions. I love answering these questions because yeah. it like, takes us back to... <clears throat> it does. It's good because days and weeks and years go by and then you stop. You, you don't think about all these all things. The first all the first time things. Yeah. That's the thing. When we first met, like... I was, we had a lot of first times together, like Kane had his first glass of wine yeah. with me um, on Valentine's Day. Like, Merlot, yeah, yeah I remember that. Merlot, yeah. that was, and yeah. he loves wine. Yeah, now. I'm obsessed with wine now, red wine. What was your first date? So we went to sushi and 
Before I went on a date with him, I'd heard all of these things about him because he was a Titans player, so he played football Gold and, Coast, the for team, the Gold yeah. Coast. And I'd heard that he was like super up himself, he'd slept with all these girls, like, oh, just a macho football player, cause like, and he'd done a naked shoot as well oh, yeah. for charity. So I was like, oh my God, this guy's probably so on himself. You know, like looking at all these, and um, there was like all these Facebook profiles of him, and I thought that he'd made them, but they were actually fake profiles that people yeah. had made of him. <laughs> like She's like, who's this, who's this douche putting up photos in his undies <laughs> and being naked holding a football over his package? <laughs> I was like, oh. But like, but we'll get because, back to that shoot in a minute. <laughs> but because he was friends with my brother's friends, I was like, you know what? I'm, and he was like so hot. He's, he is so hot! Was. <laughs> was. See? See what I put up with? She's always talking about the past. I oh my god! Is. I, um. <laughs> we're what done. What was I even it's... saying? We're, we're done. Oh my god. So, I wanted to give him the better bit of the doubt and I wanted to meet him and see what he was like. And when we went on our date, he was like asking me so many questions. He was so interested in me and, you know, just everything. And I was like, oh my God, this guy's actually so nice. And after the sushi, we walked down to the beach and I like asked him all these questions. I'm like, did you sleep with someone? So he's like, no, I don't even know that person. And it was, I was like, oh my God, they're all rumors, like literally all rumors. And we sat on the beach until the sunset. Like we just talked and talked and talked. Yeah. No awkward silences. It just like flowed on so, and it just felt so right. And yeah, was, I remember leaving that first day, thinking, "Far out." That was. I didn't was want just to so end. easy and like cool, like. Yeah. You know, there's nothing worse than when you first start, but when you first meet someone, you got those awkward silences, and then you feel like you got to carry the conversation. You're the one asking questions, and then they, yeah. they don't really ask anything. You're just like, oh, this is like pulling teeth, but. Yeah, no, it just flowed. It was actually... I remember hopping in the car thinking, man, that was just easy. Yeah, yeah. it was just like... It felt like I kind of already knew yeah. it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that was our first date, I suppose. And then there was like... The next date, we went to the beach. Um, and I wore a little yellow bikini. And he, or he said to me, he goes, Oh my God, I can't believe you're in a yellow bikini. I'd always dreamed, like, I'd always said to myself, if I see a girl at the beach in a yellow bikini, I'd instantly, like, be in love with her. And yeah, I'm like... Well, she had that nice brown glowing skin, you know, where, well, like, brown skin goes with the colour yellow. And I remember it was like a sunset, and the sun was just like, you know, that golden colour coming in from the side, hitting the bikini and the skin, and I was like, fuck, she's so hot. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And we stayed down the oh, beach yeah, so until like midnight. Yeah, I remember like you know when you. This is summer. By yeah, the way. you get that. Uh, yeah, so it was like hot as at night time still, and you know when you're with that person and you first meet them in that like, month, first or oh, probably six months at honeymoon period, and you're just with them and time just goes so quick. And I remember like because I was so onto my eating at the time because you know, I'm into the whole fitness side of things, and you got to eat all the time to make sure that like you're covering and growing and that. And I remember I just didn't even eat for like six hours and it just, I don't know, it didn't really bother me. I we remember I'd, I'd be so hungry and I'd be like, far out, like it's been six hours, I haven't even eaten it next time. It's been eight hours, fuck. But the best thing is like, we left our phones in the car because yeah. we did not care about anything else but each other. Like we were in our own little bubble. We'd have so many missed calls and we oh, just like, we I wouldn't remember. eat. I remember I had a, um, an appointment to go to the mechanic, fix my car, and my dad was like ringing me, messaging me, going, oh, mate, you know, it's going to close in an hour. You've got to get home quickly. You know, and then like it, I just went through all the messages when I got back to the car, and I was just like, call me, call me, what are you doing? And then it's like, I'm going to ring your neck up. We were in that little, little love bubble. Little Nothing love bubble. Nothing else mattered. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good time. Though. And we'd stargaze. Uh, anyways, good time. <laughs> anyway. We could be here yeah, all we'd... day talking about those times. Gotta put you to sleep. <laughs> um, have you two ever been apart? If so, why? 
and how long for? Not officially, mm. we haven't been apart. Um, we've never gone, yeah, we're broken we've up. Some, we've had some rocky stages. Yeah, we've just like had a shit stage in yeah. our relationship. And it was when... That was when I was competing. Yes. Yeah, I was competing in a bodybuilding competition. And I went to America. Yeah. And he was supposed to come with me. I was supposed to come, but I was committed to this competition. You know, as, as you off. do. Getting comp ready through my diet, I was just wasn't eating the right amount of foods and like you know it puts a lot of stress on your body because your energy depleted and your hormones are all out of whack i was so moody i was the worst person to be around like road rage I had the shortest fuse like he was the I devil i was the worst like, person honestly the devil i remember um, we'd go for morning walks on the beach and he'd just go off me. <laughs> and i i walked home by myself crying like yeah. he was a horrible person at the time and because i was competing <laughs> Like, and I was, I was like, is person. this what he's really like? Yes, and then anyway. I was like, I don't want to be with someone that does this yeah. stupid competition. Like, it's... it was a tough time. I remember we were pretty close to breaking up. Yeah. Very, very close. And I actually, by that stage, we'd had, we had social media. And I remember people saying, are you guys broken up and stuff? But we never broke up. We just were like, we'd still talk to each other on the phone and stuff. But it was just like, just yeah. we just weren't in a good place. And it, it was hard. Mm, I remember that. Yeah. It's very. It's a very selfish sport. Yeah, um, but yeah, this wasn't for me. I I, I love the balanced, healthy lifestyle. Hey. This body we wouldn't be together. Hundred <laughs> percent. Um, how did our fitness journey begin? Oh, well, mine. I've always sort of been into it. Played rugby league since I was five years old, and then I was just always in the gym. So I had a lot of injuries playing footy. Um, so many. So <laughs> every time you're injured, you're in the gym, and then I just fell in love with the weights. And you started in high school lifting weights because yeah, you were I started, so skinny. Yeah, I, I remember I was like, I remember I was like 15 years old, and I was like 56 kilos, Time. and I was so small. His like, nickname my was nickname Whippet. was Whippet, <laughs> and I was just, I just couldn't put on weight, and then I just, because I wasn't eating right, and I wasn't. Well, that was before I started doing weights, obviously. And then, yeah, once I got into it and started lifting, I just fell in love with it. I just, every, like, I remember I just couldn't stop reading, like, magazines on bodybuilding. I would just always be on Google research and stuff, looking at just everything I could just to learn as much as I could about nutrition, training. And then, um, yeah, I just, yeah, I always just loved it. Um, so we were down the beach and... I was like, oh, baby, can you take some photos of me? Because it's, you know, in my swimwear. Um, and he's like, oh, babe, you should, um, you should do some squats. And I was like, um, what? Like, I started bawling <laughs> my eyes out down the beach, thinking that I have a terrible body and my bum's not good enough. Constructive. Oh, my God. Constructive criticism. I was, so, I was so That's hurt. the angle I was working there. <laughs> Obviously, Ken's learned a lot. Since Obviously, then. there's a hot tip for you guys: don't tell girls that they need a squat. Yeah, and I was so hurt. Um, and after that, like, I was like, no, fuck this. I'm not doing any fitness. I'm not doing your squats. I don't give a shit what you think. And I started like doing things on my own accord. So I do things at home, um, workouts at home. And then Kane came with me, and we bought like a bar with weights and I started doing squats at home, um, started just doing more fitness around the house really. And I had to decide who I was doing it for, like the reasons I was doing fitness. And it because it was because like when I started doing it, it actually made me feel really good about myself. Like it gave me energy as well. It helped me focus on my work when I was designing. Because when you're sitting on a computer or you're sitting down all day, you get really lethargic so when I would train it helped me feel a lot better so from then on um, Kane like helped me a lot more and he took me to the gym for the first time like that was about a year after that um, and helped me with everything at the gym and so from then on I fell in love with it um, what are some of the challenges you face with both of you having a large social media media following hmm yeah well, that was more when we first met. Yeah, when we first started Instagram. Yeah, first started Instagram because I remember I'd see guys right on Jamie's photos, 
And I was just like, nah, I'm not having this. Who's that? And I'd just Do you know him? Fire and up. <laughs> and then, then I, that sort of only lasted a few months. Because I sort of just got over it. And then now I, now that was, yeah. Oh, really and Kane didn't really sense. understand social media etiquette when he got it. Oh, so yeah. he'd go and follow girls that followed him, like their photos, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, um, <laughs> no, what are you doing? And he did a, um... A Cleo bachelor shoot so the Cleo um, magazine asked him to be a bachelor so they did a photo shoot so yeah oh my god I thought he was single they're all reposting him going oh my god man crush Monday he was on every man crush Monday uh, was <laughs> not anymore I'm washed out now <laughs> he's not a bachelor that was really hard for me to get over so I feel yeah. like there's another hot tip for you guys when you're in a relationship, don't go doing those single bachelor shoots. Um, not from every guy gets asked to do from that. From experience, it's like puts a bit of a strain on your relationship. So <laughs> he just like went and did it. Really, he didn't actually ask me about it. He kind of made out like he wasn't doing it, and yeah. then did it last minute. And I was like, <laughs> so yeah, that was a lovely bump in the road with the social it's been media. A few of those bumps, yeah. yeah. Do you guys go through hard times, or is it always positive and happy? Always positive and happy. Yeah. Jokes. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's definitely not. It's definitely not. Nah. You can't, like... It can't be always positive and happy because yeah. then it's just, then there's no passion. And there's no growth, you yeah. know? If you don't have you need, arguments you need and arguments. Fights. Although I heard a pretty cool thing. It was like, if you don't argue in a relationship, then you've got no passion in it. Yeah. Well, that brings us to our next question. How do we handle arguments? Oh, yeah. Where, and... That's I reckon that's easy for us. We're just like this communication. Like if you if you don't communicate, I feel like we've learned through our relationship. If you don't communicate, then people just like we we assume what the problem is or what. See, what How we're... do you handle <laughs> arguments? Okay, answer it. <laughs> How do you handle arguments? How do we handle arguments? Well, we... I'm always right. So. <laughs> No, you know what? There is no right and wrong, actually, when we argue, and that's what you have to realise. Yeah. And you just gotta, I don't know, you gotta be understanding. Yes. Kane, yeah. that's like his best attribute, is he's very understanding. Yeah. I'm very lucky for that. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta relax. See the shoe on relax. the other foot. Relax, you're not relaxed. What do you mean? <laughs> when you're in an argument, you are not relaxed. No, but you gotta try and relax and see the shoe on the other foot. Like, put yourself in their shoes and then they've gotta do the same. And then you just gotta understand and try and work it out. Like, it's about feelings, you know. If you felt that way, there's no like right and wrong about it. And I feel like when um, we fight, we don't drive off or we don't leave the room. Like, we just. We yeah, have we've got to, to sort it out. it out. We've got to sort it out and yeah. get it over and done with. But we don't go days without talking to each other. Because what happens when you like leave and drive off and then all of a sudden your head's spinning and you're just assuming all these things and yeah. you're working yourself up and the other person's doing the same thing and it just creates a bigger fire because you're both going in your opposite directions. So stay in there, grind it out, understand yeah. and then cuddle. That's cuddle. It. Yep, the only so. way to get through it. Is to cuddle at the end. Yeah. And say I'm sorry. Yeah. And I love you. We've had some arguments. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But, you know, we're still here. I mean, seven years later, and we got through them. Yes. Yeah, we're not. We're not definitely not a perfect couple. That's no. For sure. No. Um. So, what are your pet peeves about each other? Yeah. He takes forever to leave the house. Like he's always. Fussing around. Very cool. I don't even know what he's doing. And every time I'm in the car, hurry up, we're late everywhere we go. I just always feel like, I just always find myself doing something. It's he's, like, he's not busy like cleaning or anything. No, I just, I just, I get easily distracted and I'll just start doing something. Then I'll start doing something. And it's and so Jay annoying. Jay's in the car beeping, come on. And I'm just like, probably playing with Zeus. I don't know. Imagine like, all <laughs> I think about is like, imagine when we have kids, how annoying it's going to be. Mm. But yeah, Jamie's. Peeves. My, what is my pet peeves about yeah, Jamie? All right, one sprays a deodorant in the room, and it's toxic. I can't even breathe. That's a bad one. Really bad. And two is she never scrapes a plate off 
all the food in the bin. She puts it in the sink and then it clogs up the drain and then I have to get my hands in there and pull it out and put it in the bin. Two of the worst habits a human being can have. <laughs> there. Other than that... Massive issues we have. <laughs> other than that, she's pretty good. Oh my god. Um, what is your secret to a long-lasting relationship? <sighs> Communication. I was going to say something else then. Commun Carry on. <laughs> That's not. Communication <laughs> is a big one. If I'm like shitty at something, he's really good at going, babe, I know something's wrong with you. Tell me what it is now. I'm like, no, there's another oh. one. Cuddles. Oh, yeah. Kane's really yeah, I hate affectionate. Cuddles. I hate him. He's so affectionate in public, everywhere. He's. Um... I don't understand why people aren't affectionate in public. I don't really. Yeah, I've never understood like, we're that. We're one of those couples that are like, Ew, why are they cuddling and kissing? <laughs> PDA. <laughs> well, we are. People think that of us. Probably. Yeah. Oh, well. But I seriously think that if, like, I need cuddles every day. Yeah, and I'm a big cuddler, actually. I like cuddles. you got to have affection in your relationship. And I feel like, yeah, I said to Kane, I'm like, you make a promise to me, do not ever stop cuddling me. The only time she didn't get cuddles is when we got Zeus for that first month. What is not? Jamie got nothing. It's all so... Zeus. Can you stop lying? People <laughs> don't know you. <laughs> no, but seriously, Zeus, he put a strain on our relationship know, when he, he first got it. He did. Yeah. He was like having a little baby. Yeah. Now he's a little teenager and he just wanders the streets. We don't even see him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Bengal life. Yeah, he just raises himself. Oh, there was one that was like, do you have any more pets? Oh, yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, we have a pet, and he's a Bengal, and his name's Zeus, and he's a little weapon, and we love him, and he sucks his own nipples. Yeah. yeah. And his own willy. <laughs> do you want any more pets? That was the oh, question. Yeah. yeah, I want a greyhound and a racehorse. Yeah, they're my two. Kane's like, he's so scared of horses. I was actually, my whole life I've been scared of him, and now I've got this respect for him. Because he bets on them. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> no, I don't. Beautiful creatures. And, and greyhound dogs. Oof. Kane was never a cat person. I've oh, always yeah. been a cat person. Always. That was always an argument with me and Jamie. It was always... Oh, I want a cat. Yeah, Jamie's like, I want a cat. And I'm like, well, I want a dog. And then... That's how actually we got Zeus. Because then I was going to surprise her with a cat. And I was like, well, I can't get a cat that's a cat. I have to get a cat like a dog. If it's possible. So I googled it. Cat like a dog. And then the Bengal breed come up on Google. So. Do we got well, it. That's it. And then. What are our future goals? Future goals. Keep travelling. Is it? I want to keep travelling. No. We're um, trying to look for a house. Oh yeah. Oh. We're going to look for a house. <laughs> <You know. laughs> house. We're travelling tomorrow. So he's just got holidays on the yeah. brain. But we're trying to buy a house, our dream home. We've been looking for so long mm. and it's just something we've always wanted. So we yeah. it's like such a big decision to make as it well. It is. First time it's a massive decision. And kid, babies. Kids one day. Babies. Don't uh, say one day. Well, one day. Well, what's one day? Define one day. <laughs> one day sounds like, I yeah, know, it could like be five tomorrow. years away. <laughs> Jamie could be pregnant right now. Oh, yeah? Marriage. <laughs> Marriage is yeah. definitely there. One day, yeah. When this one pulls his finger out, it'll happen. <laughs> I'm waiting for Jamie to propose to me. Oh my god, can no, you stop Seriously, it? I'm sick of the guys happening to do that. We're going to make a stance. Girls, start proposing to guys. It's never going to happen. And when he says seriously, he doesn't mean seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to change it up. But yeah, I'm sure like, oh, well, with our businesses, our future oh, goals. businesses, just keep growing that. Keep growing. Yeah. It's, Traveling. I want to keep putting more plans out there for the people. For the peeps. Um, keep help changing their lives. I love that. I love mm -hmm. being able to change people's lives. Yeah. I got a message again today and it was like, thanks so much. I lost all this weight and I feel like a new person. I'm just like. Aww. It feels so good yeah, to be able to help people. It's a good feeling. And like, I've helped a lot of people that would have depressed and even had people write to me and say they've saved their life because wow. they've helped change yeah that i want to keep doing that that's just the best feeling 
That's goals. Yeah. That's and same like with special. my swimwear. I'm I'm now bringing out lingerie as well, by the way. But I it makes me feel so good to help girls all around the world feel good in a bikini. Like it's I have a James Lovers group on Facebook and it is like so heartwarming every time I log into it. It's what keeps us going anyway. Yeah. So we're doing what we love and I'm so glad that we finally Yeah, I'm stoked we finally this. got this YouTube video done. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let us know like your thoughts, your feedback, what you want to see from yeah. us. Let um, us know everything if it was shit ass too long. <laughs> but anyways, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> your little thumb. I know. Look at it, it goes backwards. <laughs> yeah, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and All that's right. it. Peace. Peace. Mwah.